After an engine failure scuttled its scheduled launch in 2017, China's Chang'e 5 moon rock grabbing mission is now ready to blast off on November 24th. The unmanned mission package will be blasted into space by a Long March 5 rocket assembly, and the package itself will include four vehicles. The orbiter vehicle will power the mission package into moon orbit, where the lander and its ascender vehicle will detach and head for the moon surface. Once on the moon surface, the lander will have one lunar day, or 14 Earth days, to drill into the rock and place the rock sample in the ascender vehicle. The ascender will then separate from the lander and blast off into space, where it will reunite with the orbital vehicle, placing the 2kg rock sample safely inside the re-entry capsule that's attached to the orbiter. The orbiter will then power the capsule back to Earth, where the capsule will detach for re-entry. While the world dreams about getting to Mars, China is targeting the moon for exploration. This means that the moon could soon be a source of conflict between Earth's superpowers because of possible future questions regarding who controls the mining rights to different parts of the moon. China's Space Administration, the CNSA, currently has a rover exploring the far side of the moon as part of its Chang'e 4 mission. It is also preparing to launch the Chang'e 5 mission this year to collect lunar samples and bring the samples back to Earth. The nation plans to add to its impressive list of lunar projects with a new set of missions to explore the moon's south pole. Chang'e 6, a backup mission for this year's sample return launch, is scheduled to head to the moon in 2023 or 2024. Chang'e 7 is scheduled to launch around 2024 with the dual aims of landing on the south pole of the moon and closely studying the region from orbit. The Chang'e 7 mission will be quite a complex mission featuring five different spacecraft. These five spacecraft would weigh 8.2 tons and would be thrusted into space by a Long March 5 rocket. The five spacecraft would be a mini flying craft, a surface rover, a lander, a relay satellite, and an orbiter. The orbiter would scan the south pole of the moon from orbit using sensitive measuring equipment. The lander and the rover would also feature such equipment. The mini flying craft would carry a water molecule analyzer to take measurements in permanently shadowed areas at the lunar south pole. Following this Chang'e 7 mission, the Chang'e 8 mission would be another lunar south pole landing mission planned for the late 2020s. That mission would include test technology for using local resources to manufacture objects by using 3D printers, according to Chinese press statements. China's Chang'e 4 mission has found an unusually colored gel-like substance on the far side of the moon. Space.com reports that on July 22nd, the Yuchu-2 lunar rover had been exploring the far side of the moon. While reviewing the rover's images, a Chang'e 4 team member noticed that one crater seemed to contain a material distinct from the rest of the lunar surface. The Yuchu-2 was directed to approach the crater and examine its inside with its visible and near-infrared spectrometer. Mission scientists have not revealed what the substance is, describing it only as gel-like with an unusual color. Sounds ominous and very sci-fi horror, but what do we know? Outside researchers have suggested that one possible explanation is that the substance is melted glass created from meteorites striking the surface of the moon. China's Chang'e 4 spacecraft successfully made the first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon on January 3rd. The Yu-2 rover is now in its ninth lunar day, with each day equivalent to two Earth weeks. In May, Chinese scientists also announced that they'd found evidence of material from the lunar mantle in the regolith of the moon's von Karman crater. China successfully grew a plant on the moon in a biological first. On January 3rd, China's Chang'e 4 lunar probe made a milestone soft landing on the far side of the moon. CNN reports that the spacecraft carried a self-contained biosphere called the Lunar Microecosystem, or LME, that was activated upon landing. A cotton seed inside the biosphere sprouted two leaves, making it the first living thing humans have grown on the moon. Chia Gengxing of Chongqing University told IEEE Spectrum that Chinese scientists initially believed the seed grew only one leaf. But a 3D reconstruction made using image processing and data analysis later revealed there were two. According to China's state-run Science and Technology Daily, the 2.6-kilogram LME cylinder measured 20 centimeters in length and 17 centimeters in diameter. Apart from cotton, it also carried potato and Arabidopsis seeds, fruit fly eggs, and yeast. These were all kept in Earth-like conditions except for microgravity and lunar radiation. Xia told CNN that Chinese scientists had hoped the LME would raise seeds and hatch flies to create a stable biosphere to inform food production on the moon. 
According to Xie, the LME experienced erratic temperature fluctuations, forcing scientists to terminate the experiment and shut down the power. The shutdown left the seeds and eggs unprotected in lunar night, when temperatures dropped to a low minus 190 degrees Celsius, according to the China Daily. IEEE Spectrum reports the cotton leaves were dead within one lunar daytime, or 14.5 Earth days. Xie told IEEE Spectrum that the team had wanted to put a small tortoise in the LME to research the effects of the moon's low gravity on animals, but oxygen inside the craft would have been usable to tortoises for only 20 days. The tortoise, for sure, dodged a bullet on this one. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.